take a peek and enter the Ram Jam, if you dare. Here we are in the month of witches and ghouls, come out and play. The month of Halloween is dedicated to AMC's Fear Fest, Halloween, decorations and treats. But what exactly is special about this month? We're, af we're usually afraid of the dark and what lurks behind closed doors. During the month of October, we embrace and open the door to the skeletons in our closet and let the boogeyman out of under our beds. Halloween is one of my favorite holidays, but it wasn't always like this. I hated being scared or having the idea that something might be in the dark. Growing up to actually enjoy the horror, it's something I enjoy, but my mother hates it. And I surely don't. So sit back and enjoy. We'll be right back. Let's get started with a little fright. So turn down the lights and listen in. This is a short story called The Annoying Neighbor. I used to live in a small building downtown. One of the reasons I moved out was the bad neighborhood, including this guy in the apartment right over mine. It was a weird looking fella who mostly kept to himself. Around midnight though, there was a frequent strange noise that got on my nerves. It wasn't loud, to be fair, but I really, but I am a light sleeper, so it's hard to get my eyes shut with those little bumping sounds going on and on. It reminded me of high heels walking about, but not as loud, as if the person causing the noise was actually trying to be silent. After a few days, I realized the pattern was always the same, like a recording played over and over with a random intervals in between, and that went on for the best part of the year. Always the same sequence with the bumps, slowly tattooed into my mind, sometimes for hours straight during the night. It was only several years later, with my daughter with her homework, that I learned a little Morse code. She knocked on the table with her knuckles, and a shiver immediately went through my spine as I recognized the exact same pattern. When I asked her what it meant, she laughed. It's the easiest one, Dad, she said. It's the one to call for help. Horror stories remind me of the times my father would tell me growing up, along with my cousins, as he had his own sound effects. It's something I won't forget, but it's the reason why I got into horror as well, along with our culture, which will be our final topic of the night. Catch you after the break. Due to being part of Mexican culture, we are raised with stories about La Llorona, Los Duendes, y La Mano Pachona. The curiosity and just the imagination growing in your mind as you're being told these tales adds to the stories. I'm sure you experience this going out with friends and sometimes you guys just end up telling spooky stories you've had until someone just says stop! Which is when you start to drive home and begin to wonder what's lurking in the shadows as you drive home. Not just a culture evolving from stories from our parents, but to each other. It also plays on the movies we watch. Sure, a lot of horror now is watched down with jump scares, but you can still find something worthwhile. There will be horror films who take advantage of angles, music, and sound effects, and of course, lighting to their story. It isn't always about the monster, but how he's presented. I'll use the creature from It Follows, which is a film I recommend as an example. Anyways, guys, this has been... Ramiro Gonzalez in this special version of the Ram Jams Halloween Fest. Thank you for listening and have a good day. Or rather, have a spooky day. See ya. <laughs>